so my wife is burning the wood right now that we're gonna use for the Mowgli uh, we're just gonna put it at the window so he can climb up on and we're gonna climb on it and we can what well, we're gonna make a scratch for him scratch here scratch post scratch post and a little scratch, and a little like a window so yeah so you can look outside so this is what we got we got this from Lowe's it was like ten dollars plus tax you know so right now we're burning it well my wife is burning it because I think we are rather the burn we were thinking about staining it but well it seals the wood mm -hmm. so that's good it seals it up and then um, it looks nice yeah and it keeps the natural wood grain it's like stain but not and it seals it up yeah so that's what she's doing right now Yeah, you see those tape there. I have a video coming up for it. But we have our supervisor that's right there telling us what to do. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> He's complaining. Apparently, we're not doing it currently. <laughs> well, she's getting the corners right now. And then she'll do the full side or front. Also. So. Yeah, he's complaining. Looks good. I like this one. It's nice, right? The mix, yeah. Yeah.
as you can see, it's not one piece of food. It's different pieces, patches, but it looks really good. And my wife said she likes it because it's different wood, so it gives a different look, different shade, right? Texture. And texture of everything. So it really does look good. And I think we made a great choice right here. Yeah. Bell. Feels good, right? My wife is saying that it catches fire because of the sap. On the knots. On the what? Knots. On the knots. Those knots right here. Yeah. She's a professional when it comes no. down to this. I'm not. I actually learned it from her. But it looks really good. Let me get, let me let us know what you guys opinion, what you guys think. If you like how it turned out. But this is not the ending. There's more to come. Yeah, there you go. So, so we got this. It was what? Um, 48, 48 inches long. 10 bucks. Yeah. Three feet. No, it was it was 48. It was four feet long. It was 48. So. Currently, the only reason why we're doing the burning this section of it or the tip of it is for it because it's gonna be like that and it's gonna be screwed down to the board. All right, so and you're gonna wrap rope and we're gonna wrap a rope around a it. Scratching post for the cat. Yes. So currently, we don't really need we don't really need to burn it all. So I cut it in three pieces. So. Yeah. It should have the better be all covered in rope. So what my wife's saying that um well I she said she said we're gonna cover it in rope but she's burning the edge just in case any part of it shows when we wrap the rope on it, around it, at the end of it. So, that's what she's doing now. Well, this is like shaved wood, as you see it doesn't burn. Yeah. Professional. <laughs> we should burn the deck too. <laughs> I said that. For real? Yeah. You had suggested that. Burn the whole thing. Yeah. Why not? Burn the whole thing and then and then put the, the coat over it. Burn you it. don't have the time to burn this whole thing, babe. Why? I mean, I just have to get metal to cover from here and here. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, so that's what it looks like right now. Now let's get wrapping. So, hey guys. So right now, starting from the top, put some stapler in there, and I put a little bit of glue. Hot glue. Hot glue. Was reminded to tell. Say hot glue. So at first, what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of hot glue beneath it. Just a tiny bit.
waiting for it to cool a little bit. Start putting it in the center. Then what I'm gonna do is just start wrapping it around like this. Alright, so yeah. First time doing this, so we're not a pro. Uh, at least I'm not. My wife is better than I am. So I'm gonna do is throw some stapler in it. Hold it. Staples. Some staples in it to hold it. I was reminded to say staples, not stapler. Like right, we're in Jamaica. And then just knock them down. As you see, it's holding it right there. And as we go around, baby, think I should put glue. On the side going around. The whole way? At least the started, right? Yeah, did you do the top? Yeah. So I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the side right here. Just to start it. Yeah, just to get it to stay, but don't burn yourself. And then give it a second. That's something you kinda have to keep your time on. So I'm gonna start with the wrapping from up close. So let's just come down and just take that to the top part right here. That's where the glue is at. So it's gonna take me a minute, but at least to get it cool. As you see, some is on my finger. So at least to get it cool for now. So, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Probably get some more hot glue in this section to hold it.
<laughs> ah, at least quarter. What and is third, it? A third. That looks really great. Pull it nice and tight. Yeah. It shows a little bit of thicker, but they're. Eh. It's better than what we saw. Yeah, exactly. And they're knocked in. Mm -hmm. See? No, so, this one, what I do? Just knock it in right there. And then knock it in. And then there's, there's something that will hold it, the glue. Hold it in here. So, moving forward. All right, I got to put the baby to bed. I hope we are done by the time we come out. Me yeah, too. Hey, you tell daddy night night. Get daddy hot while well, he's busy. But daddy loves you, baby. Love you, Annie. Say, so love you. Your manager's boss just came over to check out your work, and I'm displeased. Okay. Night night, Daddy. Night night, baby. Wait, you can at least look at her. Love you. I love you. Night night. Love you. Blow kiss. Look. Mmm. Wow. Blow my kiss, Carol. Love you. Any. Look at Daddy. Mmm. Say. Mmm. 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 So right now, what we did, we put some glue onto the end, the beginning right here, in the beginning. And um, and now, I'm gonna try to hold the section, the end of it. I mean, we can, we're gonna go back and put glue beneath it, throughout it, and then get it around. But for now, and staple as well. But for now, we're just trying to hold this so it doesn't go crazy. Yeah, it's pretty, it stays pretty good though. Yeah. And just for that. And then, what do you think? I was just gonna do a rinse up, so. Oh, so here we go. So, what are we doing?
Boot time. Start with this back and spin, finding the stub. What we're gonna do is press that button, green light, and then you move a little bit to the edge. And you see that light? So see it comes up? That means that's the beginning of the stud. So if you move over here, you can see the light disappear. So then you move back over times. You want to count, count the studs a little bit. The stud is to be supposed to be two inches. So what I normally do is go from where I see the line and then I just took two inches from there. So I'll knock it right there. So I use this pilot drill, just drill down inside of it. See where it is. So I said to put the side of one on this section. So if we put it like this. So that's the idea we have in the evolution of clothing. It's sturdy enough for him. It's just 10 pounds. Um, this we're gonna put, my wife is gonna put like a little pillow or something in there so you can lay in there. And this is scratch post, as you see. Let me show you how it turns out. Turned out. So initially, we were gonna wrap all of this part like a square, but then we ran out of ropes, the rope that we have. So my wife decided to try to figure out if she could make it into a circle, which to me turns out beautiful. And that's how it looks. And then the basket right here. And the reason why we put the basket on this side, because the back of our house is like a, like a forest of wood with its section. So in the day, if he wants so he can see outside, if he's chilling in here. Instead, if he was on this side, he will be looking at the wall right there. So um, that's it. I think it turned out amazing. Now I'm gonna secure that, um, to the wall to the to the um the board itself then my wife is gonna put a pillow in there then we'll put mowgli in there yeah the cat name is mowgli and see how it looks let me let me know what you guys think and what we could have done better and in my opinion it turns out good but just let me know what you guys think all right Hey guys, so I didn't know I'm gonna clamp it onto it. So I found these, yeah, I mean, as you see, it's just in the back, 
that just holding it down this that goes along this side this is um, metal but these are the little board so I didn't want to put it on this so it would break it so I put it on the metal and I put four on each on, on each section so four on the back four in the middle and four up front so it holds it really good not coming off now we're gonna get the pad in and put it inside and I have Mowgli inside and see how it looks and yeah we my my wife wanted to have it flush to the front right here so we put a little gap in between here and this yeah I know it's a lot of work for just this but it's just four screws hold it beneath it take it off paint the window seal clean it up and then the window trim I should say clean it up and then that's it that's Mowgli and how do you like it Mowgli? Jeez. So I think we stated I stated earlier. Yeah. It's coming down. <laughs> Easy boy. So he's an adopted cat. My wife and I adopted. Um, he's what, nine months? He's five. Five years old. old. Yes, five years old. So, we're new to cats, so we're trying to get things. Seriously. Hey, he was, he was representing the finishing project. Um, his little, what do you call that in there, babe? Blanket. Yeah, like a little pad. His mattress, his, his cat mattress. Look at it. Yeah, perfect. So that's it. Mm -hmm. And let me know what you guys think. It took all night, <laughs> but I think it turned out beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I was telling them that originally we were going to do a square around the board, yeah. but then we ran out of rope, and you no. came up with that idea. We didn't run out of rope. We had we had 150 feet, <laughs> 98.5 feet. We had the perfect amount, amount of for rope. the circle, but we thought that we would run out of it if we went around it. Well, and that was just going to be a big waste because we didn't need to put rope under the, the bar. bar. Yeah. yeah. So I think the circle circle pattern is a better choice. Yes. And the only other thing you can do. Which he can get on the counter, but that may be too high, so we can get those stairs. Yeah. And put some stairs on that side. Right here he is, right here. And my wife got that too. It's a. It it wasn't meant it's, for a cat. It's <laughs> technically supposed to be a chip and dip bowl, or maybe like a veggie and dip bowl. Yeah. I'm not really sure. But. But it's perfect for him. He sits and he eats with a little water to the side. He raises it up a little and he won't get whisker fatigue. I was reading about... Um, he's a... <clears throat> excuse me. He's a Maine Coon cat mix and apparently their whiskers are a little bit more long. sensitive. Yeah, long and it's a little bit more sensitive than some other cats. And so this is nice because it's very shallow. So the water bowl is nice and big and shallow and it fits the perfect amount of food. So we don't overfeed him and he doesn't get fat. Yeah. So, and picks it off the ground. I mean, look at him. He's at the dang buffet right now. <laughs> Just chilling <laughs> and eating. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we have a lot. One of the things we're worried about, we kind of run from about when it comes down to this house is finishing the trim. The painting. Painting the, oh. the, 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 the trims. <laughs> Um, yeah, we need to do that, but... Well, yeah, we need to paint the trim, but... And the door and all and that. And the stuff. door. But, but, as far as the cat... What are we calling this? Cat perch? Catio? I don't, I don't know. know what it's a chill spot. Cat, <laughs> the cats... The cat's living room. We wanted this because we didn't want the cat to be terrorized from the baby. We wanted the cat to get up high and the baby not be able to get him. 
so he can have his own space and not, not be bothered by the baby if he needs to get away. And we came up with this idea of, well, we had talked about putting something in the window so that the cat could look outside. It's nighttime right now. But then we came and showed them this part where he tried to get up on the window. So yeah. we had talked about, there's, well, the windowsill is dirty, but yeah, right he here. tried to jump up on the windowsill um, because we've been keeping him confined to the bathrooms until he feels comfortable. And so we had talked about putting something in the window and then we went to the store to make this and when we came home today, we saw the little scratches on the window. So we can definitely tell that he, he tried to get up there because he wants to look out. Yeah. So. But um, I think you, as you stated, it's high. Mm -hmm. So we need to make that little step in area for him. Yeah, I think you're right. Because he can get on the counter. He does get on the counter. Mm -hmm. On the right there. And it's not, it's probably four inches taller than the taller counter. Taller than the counter. But he's got to get not only maybe up here, but maybe even. So I think if we just get those stairs we were looking at, we can climb up here and then mm -hmm. jump over. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Because he's very, for a big cat, he's agile. Agile. And he's, he's yeah. very chill. For, yeah. as they said, he was a stray cat. Yeah, I, I definitely don't think he was a stray. Yeah. Because he's, he's lived with people before. He's too friendly to have been a stray cat and for five years. Yeah, he's very, I mean, you go down on the floor, he comes over immediately, he meows at you. He prefers to eat when we're in the room. He eats more when we're in here than when we're not. So he's a social eater. So yeah, he's, he definitely is not a true stray. But we got him from the Humane Society and he came from Virginia, the Humane Society in Virginia. So he came from Virginia and then came over from their Humane Society and then came over to our Humane Society. And now he's here with us. So we're just trying to make him comfortable living in the house with us and the baby, which we don't know if he's ever been with the baby. Yeah, he's doing really good. He's, a good he's very chill. Yeah. Right, Mowgli? <laughs> but yeah, we got him, we brought him home. In, well, my wife did. I had to go to work in that box right there. But the funny thing is, you put him in the box, he'll just go in and relax. Yeah, he doesn't scream, he doesn't, yeah. or like, you know. He doesn't go crazy. Whine, like the cat, what's it called? Meow. Yeah, but not like, you know, he doesn't, he's not. He doesn't angry. cry a lot. Yeah, he does, look, he almost ate his food. Yeah, I'm telling you, that thing is not supposed to be for the cat. <laughs> But I think we need to buy them all up and sell them like that because exactly. he's happy. Look at it. It's perfect for him. <laughs> Even a small cat. And but the, First of all, the dip is different from the stool that you see, you see there. Yeah, it's sitting. The can, yeah, the, the bowls are sitting on a little stool. stool. It's, hey, Mowgli. He's a good boy. Mm -hmm. But the stool... Is separate, but I was reading to kind of lift it up off the floor. That's what they suggested. So, and actually, the in the, the cat perch you just made, the bed came from the humane society. I think someone just just makes these for the. Someone just sews them up. Let me be a nice volunteer. Mm -hmm. Right, sew them up, and it came in this box. And it's not. It's not super padded but it's perfect and i can take it out and wash it and vacuum that mm. out and it's perfect for just a relax yeah so I'll be, I'll be excited to come in tomorrow um, during the daylight and see if he's up there but we gotta get the stairs so i'll leave it yeah. or we can make him mm. <laughs> i think that one would be cheaper because it involves more wood and lots of rope oh because oh. I think it's like 25 bucks online. Okay, all right, let's just get it online. <laughs> I'll order it tonight. All right, he wants to use the bathroom, oh. so let's give him some privacy. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you guys for watching. And let us know what you think. 
see we, we, we study. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Because one day this will get painted. Sometime. At some point. Before we die. Yeah. But oh. let us know what you guys think. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, so cute. Yes. But let us know what you guys think and um like, comment and share. We'd like to hear your feedback. And just let us know. Oh. Yeah.